The University of Alabama taking a firm stand today against one of the school's top donors. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough has reaction from students and city leaders about a vote that essentially cuts all ties with Hugh Culverhouse Jr. First of all, I commend the university for not being held hostage to anyone. That's Tuscaloosa Mayor Walt Maddox, who says he agrees with the University of Alabama's decision to give a $21 million donation back to Hugh Culverhouse Jr. The university says it was because Culverhouse tried to dictate operations within the law school. And just a few weeks ago, Culverhouse called for people to boycott the university over the state's new abortion law. I understand that the recent um, passage of the bill in the legislature has created a bad image for the state of Alabama. Um, but the best thing that people outside our state want to help us is to continue to invest into our next generation of citizens. The university didn't waste any time once the vote was final. You can see Cruz right here painting over the name Hugh Culverhouse Jr. right in front of the law school. I just think it's all like a just absolute mess with everything. I certainly don't want one person single-handedly trying to interject their opinion and their authority over the entire university. Culverhouse tells me his comments about the university were misunderstood. He says the boycott applies to the entire state and doesn't just single out the college. He also says the university knew his expectations when he made the donation to the law school last fall. As for the mayor, he has a message for people outside the state. Invest in us, don't retreat. The university says the Culverhouse Business School will keep its title since it's named after Culverhouse's father. In Tuscaloosa, Chip Scarborough, WBTM 13.